So now let's see how we can work with uh, text justification, text indenting, and line spacing inside of Google Docs. So here I already have a bunch of paragraphs and text on it. So what I'm going to do is work around with justification first. So by default, you can see that this is left aligned, meaning what happens is that the, the sentence, you can see that on the left side, everything is uh, straight. But as the sentence goes on and it cannot fit a word anymore right here, it continues on to the next line. But here on the right side, you can see that the alignment and everything is zigzag. So this is left aligning. So you can simply keep a cursor right here, click on the center align button right here, and everything will be center aligned. So it keeps the spacing equal on the left and right just like that. If you were to click on this one, it right aligns everything just like this, as you can see. This is especially good for titles right here. So if I were to add in a title just like this, and if I were to increase the size of the title, bold it out, I can center it out, left side, left align, right align, and so forth, as you can see. But over here in paragraph, it does not look that great. But over here, we have another option called justify. So if you don't want a zigzag line, you want a better presentation of your content, then you can enable justify option, which actually balances um, the things out. How it does it is it, uh, it increases the spaces in between the words a bit to make it seem balanced just like that. And that gives a much more better presentation than this, as you can see. So I can simply select this out and justify that out. And you can see that this uh, looks much more better uh, in terms of presentation. Another way to change out the outlook is by using the line spacing option right here. So if I were to select this out, just click anywhere on the paragraph, it only applies things in paragraph. You can go around into uh, the line spacing and, uh, and by default, the line spacing is 1.15. Meaning what happens is that uh, this is, let's say the, the length of this, okay, is one. So let me just zoom this in. You can actually zoom it in to view it more clearly. Uh, the length of the letter is one and one point, uh, and if you were to go around here, meaning there's 0.15 more extra spacing right there. You can actually decrease that out right here by going on into single. Now there's no spacing in between whatsoever so that you can see that there's more spacing right here. If you want double spacing, then you can click over here, click on double, and then you can see that you have equal length of space after each of the uh, line is over just like that. So this is double spacing and there's 1.5 spacing right here. So depending on what you require and uh, uh, what, what type of an output you want, you can just simply select that out. Then you have add space before paragraph. You can add a space before as well and add a space after paragraph as well. So it does not actually have something like this. So you can see that there's some spacing right there. So if you don't want any cursor to be there. So the proper way to add in spacing after paragraph is this. So what you can do is you can go around onto line spacing and add space after paragraph just like this. So you, you don't accidentally, uh, um, you are not able to select this portion out. It's just a space right there. You can also go over here and then remove the space before and after the paragraph as well. So I'm just going to remove the space before that's going to keep one after. So that is how uh, you can do a proper spacing and Press, uh, pressing enter twice is actually not a proper way. So you press enter enter once, you can see that uh, I, I can keep my cursor here and this is actually not a proper method. So if you, you want align spacing, you simply go over here and add space after paragraph. This is the proper way of creating spaces after paragraph, just like that. And uh, the line spacing allows you to work with that. You can also go around and then uh, work with custom spacing right here. You also have options like different options you can enable and disable right here. So let's just go to custom uh, spacing right here. Let's say you want around uh, uh, around three line spacing right there. You can do that as well. And paragraph spacing before if you want to add in 10 and after you want to add in 20, you can be very specific and apply and you can see that this is how it works. You cannot select out the spacing right here, but you can see that as you select, there's like a whole range of things being selected out. Anyways, I'm just going to go around and revert it back to 1.15 right there, just like that. And that is how you can work with the uh, line spacing option right there. And then the other option you have is the 
indent. So you can see that there's decrease indent and increase. So if you were to click on this, it indents onto the right side, as you can see right there. So you want a bit of a spacing in the front right here. You can see that you can indent it on the right, just like that. You can decrease the indent as well. So especially when you are adding, let's say, for example, quotations, you may want to indent it. So let's say you have a quotation similar to this. What you can do is you can indent it out right over here, just like that. You can indent it more and uh, maybe italicize this as well to uh, present it like if it is a quotation right here. Even add in quotation marks right here, as you can see right there. So you can indent it out onto the left and right as well to change out the presentation without having to manually press it out right there. So you can tab this out. You can press tab to uh, add in single space. But if you were to press this, it's like tabbing out the entire paragraph just like that. And that is how you can use the text justification, indentation and line spacing inside of uh, Google Docs. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.